too bad I like the ninja revolution. It might come back at some point. Um, it's like, at some point, we might be taking towns over, and almost every town has a ninja base in it. So we did just learn valuable information about how to start a ninja coup. So it's not, this is not all for naught. Um, who is the, uh, yeah, I'd like to sell my people. Hello? I'm here to sell. Yeah, I would like to, no, these are my people. What? No. 500? You're offering 500? I paid a thousand for that guy. No, I'm talking about these people I'm carrying around. A new slave, 400 cats. Okay, so you just gotta talk to him with the guy in hand. 400, that's about what I figured, I guess. Sure. Come to master. I don't like how you say that. It's a weird thing to say, but... Uh, you're also... Carrying it? Okay. 400. Deal. What is this? This is, this is terrorist music. So it, it fits. I guess I was, I was saying before, we really don't know anything about these three, uh, three slaves, because we just got them. Not really much of a personality to them. We do know, know one thing. Carp here is a secret terrorist. Last time they caught him, they figured out that he was a terrorist the whole time. Hopefully this time we'll be able to keep that a secret a little bit longer. But public enemy number one is this shirtless... I... I didn't... Oh, wait. Okay, cool. I did get weapons for them. And these pants. Okay. What is this shit? <laughs> Carp is the key to all of this. Carp is a very interesting man. He has pure black skin, by the way. Which I guess is a terrorist thing. Um, so now we have 800 bucks. We could buy some food. <laughs> seems like... Seems like we're not really making a lot of money from that. We're gonna need to get six slaves at a time or something. Whoa. Whoa, I don't know how they... Okay. Um... Oh, it's fucking... Any of my guys injured? A little bit. Okay, well, it's, it's nighttime, so I'm just gonna go to bed up here. Um... And wait for morning so I can actually sell some more stuff. And then we'll go out on our journey with more food. The problem being we have less food than we did when we left the first time. So, you know. We'll probably run out of food again. But if we find some slaves, then it's fine. Uh, yeah. Everybody sleep. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, that should heal everybody up. That extra bit. Yep. Regain some of your your blood. Ruka's just got better and everything. I think because of her race. Let's, yeah, let's just wait until things open up. We're completely safe sleeping here because we're protected by a whole tower of ninjas. So, so we're just gonna comb the deserts for supple bodies to sell to creepy men. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. When you get better at the game, play as a warlord. I mean, at some point, that will be what we're going to be. We just... Right now, we have people who, if you look at their stats, they're not great. I mean, our best person is probably Ruka. She's got pretty good, like... I wouldn't even say pretty good, but she's got decent, like, combat stats. But everyone else... Oh, wait. While they're sleeping, we should have, uh... We should have the new slaves training. Because they're not really injured. Yeah. Yeah. If they do this, they'll get some uh, melee attack, which will make them hit more often, which is pretty useful. Let them do that. In fact, do we even need them? You know, like, let's just put them in a training squad and have them do that for a while. For now. I mean, we could just leave them in this town while we go off and do shit. Uh, the problem being, I don't know how they're going to make food for themselves. Maybe there's some copper nearby and I can have them just do that. I mean, they are, they're, they're basically slaves. One of them's a terrorist, but he needs to work off that non-existent bounty. 
There could be some copper nearby. There usually seems to be. It seems like there's copper near like every town. That could just be in those starting locations way back, way back over there. Yeoman is going to build a slave army of unsullied. Well, I'm not going to cut their dicks off, but yeah, I mean, slave army seems to be a pretty good idea. I mean, it doesn't seem very economic, considering we're buying them for $1,000, and then the ones we get, we're selling for 400 Seems like it'd be better if we just enslaved them ourselves, but... What are you going to do? Why is no music playing? It's apparently it's the Jurassic Park theme. Please don't do that. <laughs> From movies, they're going to fuck me. I don't know why it's so quiet, too. This should be fine. If it's not so quiet. Look, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, have this squad move out, and we're just gonna... First, we're gonna buy some stuff uh, at the bar. Buy some food. Let's do a quick prospect, actually. There's stone. Apparently there's stone over here. Can you sell stone? Is that something we could mine? Where's another one? Because that one looks like it's covered up. Over here. Right here. Oh, what's that? No. You probably need like a mining operation or something to do that. Maybe we'll, ha we'll have our slave people steal. Is that, a, is that a bad idea? Maybe we'll have them like train at uh, like train over here and become fucking thieves. Although I also heard I also saw some advice somewhere saying not to steal from anyone you want to do business with, basically ever. Which I would want to do business with all the people in this town because it's probably where we're gonna be. Just buy a bunch of meat. It seems like the food cube people eat it, like, all at once. Maybe it's still a better value, but, like, I'm buying meat. Mining stone is really worth it because it's low value and makes you consume 50% more food. Copper or iron are worth it. Okay. Could you get the ninjas to train them? No, but we can use the ninjas' uh, training facilities to get their sneak up um, fairly. Oh, no, wait. No, you can't train your sneak there, but you can train your lockpicking. Um, I'm gonna leave them there to do that, because I don't think they're that valuable. Uh, except to carry bodies. They are pretty valuable to carry bodies. Where, um... Yeah, their melee attack is, did not really go up much. Uh, I'm gonna bring them with. I'm gonna bring them with. Yeah. Just so, just so, it, like, because what could very easily happen is we run into a group of, um... Uh, come over here. We run into a group of, like, two competing sides, one of which kills the other, and then we enslave all of the other side. If that happens, we want to be able to pick up as many people as we can. So we just want extra people who can carry people. And they're... Yeah, okay. We should be, we should be okay on food. Uh, just go here, and, uh... We could wait for nighttime to make it a little safer. Go here. That's that's the fastest way. Okay. What's that? See? Oh, is that stone? Copper. But there's also someone fighting over here. Starving vagrant. Manhunter. Let's 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 go. Let's keep going because the thing is, while it's a good idea, I think to get some to get our slaves like working on copper or stealing, or training their skills, or getting killed by fucking s skimmers. Uh, well, I think that's a good idea. I... let's hope one of these guys dies. I don't want to, uh... I, I want to get to the actual wherever we're going to set up first. I don't want to... I need to get a map, is what I'm saying. Okay, um, they killed both of them, which just means free slaves. Fuck, if I keep getting slaves, I'm never going to make it to the next town. <laughs> Clickbait. It's not... I. There's two streams going, okay? I know one of them... 
I know one of them says Victoria too. I, I can't do anything about it. I can't even change the title of it to say this stream isn't real. I can only click on this one and say ignore the other stream. Um, nice bounty hunter we can loot here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's actually some sweet shit. Uh, give Hobbs that medicine. Very nice. Um, a ratten. Oh, these are these are good. Okay, Carp's got nothing, and since he's the terrorist, I think he should definitely get. That is a fucking great. That saber is worth eleven thousand. I don't know if Carp deserves it, but committing crime. Don't worry about it. Also put that on. No, don't put that on. What are you thinking? Put that dust coat on. Carp's getting fucking cool. Uh, he's lightweight. Okay, the rest... We don't want to... We have to divvy this up in a way that everybody doesn't get, like, too heavy. Okay, so he's still good. What is that? It's a rattan hat. Okay. Um, martial artist binding. Who has no weapon still? Nobody. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe you'll be a martial artist. That stick is fucking worthless. Um, samurai cloth pants, leather. Shit, some of this stuff might be better than what I have. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not really. Uh, it's kind of better than what she's got. Yeah, it is better than what she's got. Okay, we'll do that. We'll switch that and then give this to, like, carp. Give you some good pants. Uh, and who wants his boots? You can have his boots. Okay. Alright. Look at fucking- look at my terrorist now! Uh, and then yeah, somebody just needs to pick this guy up. Uh, you do it. Sweet. There was another guy too. Starving Vagrant crippled. Okay, let's kill him. That should be easy. <laughs> Yeah, don't sneak. Just kill him. Who's the best warrior? Definitely Ruka right now. But she's got a pretty good weapon already. She already has our best weapon. I don't think it's as good as that, but it actually could be. She's good against spiders and bone dogs. And skimmers. Oh, shit. But she's, I think, trained better in hackers right now. And this is a saber? Let me look. No. No, she isn't. Okay, well, no, you're right. Carp, you can use this big fuck weapon, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, let's divvy this up in a way that makes sense. Um, we all got good armor. Don't have to worry about... Th oh, wait. Oh, you're using shitty rags, Hobbs? No, sorry, Carp. <laughs> Hobbs get those. You, you, get, you get the shitty rags. At least you get a weapon. Hobbs got the same weapon, except better. Yep. Um, I've got that. He's got nothing. He's got that. Okay. Yeah, that's how we want it. Cool. You know what, Hugh? I'm sorry, but you're not cool enough, so I think I'm going to give your cool hat to the terrorist. It might make him too heavy, though. Nope. Weightless. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool-looking... Cool-looking terrorist. Yeah, I just need to kill this guy with a broken leg. Sweet. What is she even a mutant? She's this diff other race in this game called, like, Shek. Uh, there are, like, four different races? Five? Uh, we've just only managed to recruit one that's a different race. Except Carp, technically. Carp is a human, but he's a sub-race, which is Scorchlander. Uh, this guy's got nothing. He's got a stick. And just some shit. Okay, well... That's worthless, but we'll have uh, Hugh pick him up so we can sell him. And I'm not going to go immediately back to the town we were just at this time. I'm going to continue forward because I really want to make it to this new town. It's also the town where my father died. So I need to complete my pilgrimage. Carp looks like a wise man. He does. <laughs> I mean, you get that kind of hat with like a big jacket like that. You, you, you start to look pretty, pretty wise. Looks like we're actually getting somewhat lucky on, uh, 
a clear path this time. Because before, we've just been getting fucked every time we try and leave. Running into skimmers all the time. Oh, nice. Like, who added this? <laughs> he will train the group in the ways of terrorism. He's a very good addition to this team. I mean, we, we're already some archetypes are starting to, to form. These two are the most boring. They don't have anything yet. We gotta figure out what they're all about. But like Squabblin Jr., he's obviously, he's a, he's a, a, the son of Squabblin. A man with conflicted feelings about his father. He's going in a different direction. He built his upper body instead of his lower body. He's trying to build an empire to show, show his father that he's better than him because his dad died homeless on the street with his dog. Hobbs is, I'm not sure, just a cool, mysterious black guy. Ruka's the strong, independent woman who don't need no man. And because of that, she gets us beaten the fuck up whenever we go to Holy Nation territory. And then we got a terrorist. Your entire party looks like generic band of fantasy bandits, like level one enemies. That's, that's what we are. We, <laughs> we're like level one bad guys. I mean, we are actually selling people into slavery. But we're just selling people who are weak enough that we can get them. Or that die from somebody else. Outlaw farmers, okay? See, like, there's a bunch of farmers here. You'd think, like, oh, farmers, no problem. Uh-uh. I can't fight farmers. <laughs> In fact, just just sneak for a little bit. Don't, don't do whatever you're doing. Discovered Shobatai. That is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. This is the town that Squabblin Jr.'s father died in. Because uh, we stole from the Shinobi Thieves. Which is actually a little bit of a... Uh, it's a little poetic there. Squabblin Jr. wants to be different from his father. How did his father die? He tried to join the Shinobi Thieves. How did Squabblin Jr.? What is Squabblin Jr. doing? Joining the Shinobi Thieves. He's going against his father in every, everything he does. Too bad the world isn't pers persistent and I can't find Squabblin's body here. When did the Squabblin squad get so big? When I bought three slaves, one of which I didn't know was a, a terrorist. Squabblin Jr. is the prophet. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll do what Muhammad did. Get a bunch of, bunch of bloodthirsty men and become a warlord and then found a religion based off of that that people still worship even though literally just, just a warlord. You trying to talk to me? You're not trying to talk to me, right? Whenever somebody tries to talk to me, it's bad news. Okay. Alright! We made it! Okay. Uh... Hopefully they will sell maps here. I really need maps. Nice Dixie music, too. I guess it- I guess it fits slavery. Mmm... Although, so far, we have, like, freed as many people from slavery as we have sold into slavery. Uh, you know... So we're doing- we're doing... We're playing both sides. They don't- they don't buy slaves here, do they? Slave shop, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so we also have to decide if this is a place we want to hole up. I don't see cheap housing, though. Unless one of these? No. I'm not seeing cheap housing. And that's what I would need for a, a place to set up. Oh, wait. Here we go. 4,000. Okay, same as the other place. So this is a contender for where we might want to set up. And leave some slaves behind to research stuff while we go out on, on our adventures. Get in there? What are you doing? Get in. Okay. Uh, you're carrying a slave, right? Yep. No, I don't want his stuff. His stuff is worthless. Where's the... Wait. Yeah, this guy. Wait, I'm, I'm carrying a slave. I'm clearly looking to sell. I don't want to sell one of my own guys. I don't know why they think that. Hello? Looking to trade. Yeah. I'm... What do you think this guy is for? Looks? What do you... You don't want him because he's a bounty hunter? Oh, he's dead. Are they both dead? Oh, they're dead. <laughs> oh. I've been carrying around dead bodies this whole time. Okay, cool. Oops. My bad. Oh, he just fell, fell through the ground. Sorry about that. Kill, killed him. Uh, okay, well, there goes our money. I thought we were gonna make- I thought that was like 800 bucks we were carrying around. Which means I don't have enough, uh... 
Don't have enough to buy a map, even if there is a map. So I gotta figure out a way to buy, uh, make some money. I don't know exactly how to, hmm. Hmm, maybe it's time to send our slaves to get, yeah. What is this, copper? Yeah, copper very close to town. Okay, let's start the, uh, let's start this. These two at least. Carp has kind of like earned his, himself a place on the squad, and I think you can only send one guy per thing anyway. So we'll uh, do that. If we can send a third, then we'll send the terrorist. And then the rest of us will go out looking for... Ooh? Okay. We'll go out looking for more people to kidnap into slavery, try not to kill them. Sell the body parts to the black market. Can you do that? I don't think I can do that. I think they, I think they just make prosthetics for that kind of... Here, wait. Let me see if... If I do this, will they both work on one? No, they won't. Okay. So have them both do that. Can I have them do that automatically? Here, wait. Yeah, I would like you to... To mine operating machine. But I'd also like you to... Once I can pick something up, I might be able to tell them to do that. But yeah, so operate this machine. But then I need to just... Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but we can go out. I need a map, though. We can't stray too far from here, because I, I don't know if this is maybe where we want to set up. Empire Peasant. Empire... Wait, Empire Peasant? You're kind of a little far from home, aren't you, buddy? Maybe, uh, maybe a little too far. Yeah, it looks like somebody's trying to beat you up. Or no. He's allowed? Nobody cares about him? I thought they were, like, hostile with each other. Who are you? Hive caravan? Okay. Well, here's what we do. We follow this hive caravan. Oh, who are you? There's a lot of fucking people around. Starving vagrants. Okay, perfect. They'll attack me, and then I can just, uh, sell them into slavery. Yeah. See, here's what we do is we... They're attacking me, right? Maybe we could take them... They don't have really like weapons or armor or anything. I don't know, but what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna let the uh, we're gonna let the samurais help us. See, and now we can do some fighting without much risk. Because if we lose, the samurais will just kill them off and we'll be fine. Yeah, perfect. We can we can gang up on this one guy four to one. Okay, and now Carp. Hey, this guy might even have a bounty. He doesn't. Okay. We'll just have, uh, the terrorist. No, not Ruka. Carp. Pick this guy up. And go sell him into slavery. Alright. This is how you make money. Uh, yep. With a smiley face on it. That's how you know it's good. Okay. We're still fighting out here. Um, still got the samurais on our side. Kick and smash, but that makes sense. They're terrible, and we have the samurais. Okay. Ruka. Pick that guy up. Probably should have done Ruka last, because she's our best fighter, but... Oh, well. <clears throat> you can't sell body parts. Yeah, that's what I figured. Might be able to automate the selling of copper. I don't know. We, we, we should, but... You only send as many as the vein says is allowed. Oh, does it say? One. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, we'll check that in a second. Uh, okay, now, the, now Squabblin Jr. and Hobbs are fighting. Oh, wait, is that another one? Okay, Hobbs. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to go this fast, so I was just going to send Carp back and forth. But if we have to get them before the... Uh, before the... Free cities guys do, or else they'll uh, just do it themselves. They'll bring them to jail. Oh, and here's another. Okay. All right. Four slaves. That's like, what, $1,600? Quick money. It's better than the mining, but the mining, I guess, can't go wrong. Post-apocalypse sounds like a fun time. It does. It does sound like a fun time. It, does, it seems pretty fun. You just... <laughs> You just vulture off of people and you make some good money. And I'll be able to buy a map and that will should be able to help us plan things out. In fact, the weird thing is, 
I don't even know if I want a map of the free cities as much as I want a map of, like, whatever's next to them. So that I can plan where we're going to go raiding for people. Um, we'll see. I'll buy basically whatever maps they got. Is that a dead samurai? No. Dying. Dying. Playing dead. Okay, so we could go out there and get a, at least one more slave. We'll see. Might be dead by that time. Might have gotten up and tried to run away and then killed. Or actually run away. <laughs> Hopefully none of them died again. I, I look real and real looks look real stupid until these slaves in front of these slavers. Four hundred bucks. Yep, that seems to be the going rate for these fuckers. I'd like to sell another, please. Deal. Okay. I got another. Hey, I got another. Hey, I got two more. 400 bucks. Yeah. I got another. Looking to trade. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, Hobbs. Oh, okay, yeah. 400. Dude, quick, quick 1.5k. Not bad. Let's go see if any of them are alive still. See if that guy playing dead is gonna is gonna get up from playing dead. If it's gonna become real dead. He is bleeding to death despite playing dead, so I don't know if he's really That one died. <laughs> that one's dead. Don't feel too bad about being a slaver. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. I don't feel bad. Why do you think I should feel bad? Oh, well, these guys are gonna get hungry, aren't they? I didn't think about that. No. Were you going for the house or the map first? Map first because I need to know where I want to get my house. My basic idea is I need a house in some town where I will leave a couple people behind to maybe produce stuff, but basically just at least one guy to do research. And then that will be our temporary base of operations, maybe base of operations for a while, until we decide on some location to make our own town, um, our own settlement. But so I need the map, I need to get as many maps as I can so I can figure out where exactly we want to, to buy our first building because we want people around us that are not friendly with the United Cities so that we can very easily take advantage of that and, uh, you know, enslave them. <laughs> but at le even just knowing where all the United Cities cities are would be nice, that would be a start. Because then at least I'd know where our options, you know, like where... Because I think United Cities is where we want to set up base, like, for sure. Because they buy slaves. That guy's dead. He's dying. We might be able to make that in time. Pick him up. And, uh, he's still playing dead? Yeah, see if you can... Um... <laughs> hey. I just take your shit? Wow, you're really playing dead, I guess. Oh, Ruka can't pick up because she's... Who did you pick up? Wait, what? I thought you sold everybody. You got another guy? How did I get another... Okay. Alright. More slaves. Okay, I got an extra one there somehow. I don't know what you did, Ruka. Somehow she enslaved another person, but... All right, one of them's about to die, though, I think in, like, three seconds. So, probably not gonna make it. And I'm not gonna waste... Oh, yeah, see, this is nice, too. They're just not a lot of farmers, but we could get even more slaves. I think first we're gonna buy a map. Seems like there's no shortage of people to enslave. So, now I would like... Can I automate you picking that up? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it, and that seems like really dumb. Hmm. There's got to be a way to do that. All these shit quality slaves. Hmm. At the bottom of the map, there's a city there. There's a there's a free city down here. Do they extend all the way down? That actually be kind of interesting. Maybe I'd move further down. Even even a city around here, if they're in like a line. A city around here could be very good. I could make trips back and forth to these places around here. 
Hell, I could even maybe set up in the, the hub. Probably not, though. That's a long distance to sell slaves. I wouldn't want to be over here and run all the way over here. But I don't know. Yeah, that's why I want to get a United Cities map. I mean, I could just look it up, obviously, but I don't know. It seems a little, little cheap. Where's Hobbs? Oh, he's there. Okay. That's a bar. <laughs> you don't sell people at bars. Just isn't right. <laughs> you are now a slave. 400 bucks. Yep. Okay. Uh, hope we never get sold into slavery. That, that would be... Uh, <laughs> Pretty bad, actually. Can I... Can I sell another? Because we de we absolutely 100% can get sold into slavery. From what I know... I guess I shouldn't say absolutely 100% and then from what I know. But there's one of the starts of the game is... Starting out as a slave. So... We almost have enough to buy a house. So I'm gonna buy the map. And if there's not a map here, I might just... The problem is I almost want to go to Heng or Heft instead. But we we can go there and buy a house. Oh no, Heng is too expensive. So I don't know. Um, where is a place that would sell... Okay, general shop, maybe. I think that, like, trade trading shop is the better one. Or the traveler shop or whatever. No, don't steal. What do you mean? St why would I... No. Uh, no. Okay. Um. Bar. I think. Oh, here we go. Travel gear. Yeah, that's that should have it. If if it exists. Um, you guys. Yeah, keep going. Keep keep going. Will it stack inside of the mining thing? I don't think it will. Okay. Oh, he's got a bunch of maps. Okay. Holy Nation Homelands. Okay, I already know that one. I already know that one. Hive Villages. Could be useful, I guess. Tech Hunters, the Tower of Ninjas. I'm a ninja. Maybe that'd be good. Man, these maps kind of suck. I guess I'll buy them. <laughs> Tower of Ninjas. Uh... I guess High Villages is slightly good to know. And there's all our money. It's not even the Holy City ones, but... I need... I mean, knowledge is power. Okay, what did we learn? Oh, we learned a bunch of stuff to the west where we're probably not gonna go. Okay, good. Great, that's exactly what I needed to know. That's exactly the kind of stuff I will never... Yeah, alright, well there's the Ninja Tower. Could be bad ninjas. The large camp of slaves where the... Wait. What? The large camp of slaves where the man... Uh, Manhunters carry you. $80 per copper. The large camp of slaves. I don't know where that... I don't know where that is. I've never been taken by slaves. But are you saying the copper is really good there and that's where we should sell it? Because that's very useful information. More fights going on outside means more slaves. Yeah, I see three more slaves. Uh, we can loot them, too, while we're at it. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, this guy's got a stick. Oh, no, wait. No, he's got it. I see. Uh, straw hat's nice. Got caught stealing. Uh. Did I? Did I? I don't know. Sneak, then. Whatever. Oh, he's a fucking terrorist. You think he cares? Uh, steal that, take his shoes, and uh, pick him up. Here we go. We're seen, so I guess we won't steal from these guys. We'll just pick them up. Uh, squabbling, pick him up. Yeah, I mean, this is just free money. Just laying on the ground, waiting for me to pick it up. Um, now go back to the slave shop. Ruka, if you can find one more slave. What is going on there? Okay, okay. Yeah, just wait for them to kill whatever's over here. Yep. There we go. Nice sonic music. 
You know, I think we can make a pretty good living in this town. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why there's so many fucking outlaws who think they can take on the samurais, but there seems to be an endless stream of slaves in this town. So I think I might build... I think I might buy one of these houses. This, uh, what is it? This one? No, where is it? There's a cheap house here, right? Here. Yeah, I think I might buy one of these cheap houses. This one right here. Conveniently located next to the slave the slave hut. And then whenever I need money, just like, uh, just go kidnap some more people. They're gonna get full here. Is that a problem? Will they stop taking slaves if they get full? Sorry, no vacancy? Deal. Okay. Yeah, they're they're already having to go upstairs. Um, which, yeah, we'll follow him up. Ruka, also. Yeah, Hobbs, uh... Here's 400. I mean, I don't know what I mean by that. Thanks for the 400. Here's another 400 earned. Talk to him. No, talk to him. Okay. Another 400. This is what why fucking do copper? I mean I guess I guess this plan doesn't work if at any point you uh wait did he go downstairs? Oh, okay. Hobbs, don't heal them. Uh yeah, I mean this seems like a good way to make money other than the fact that it is reliant on Hobbs! You don't stop. Don't be a medic. Don't be a medic if you're gonna do that. Don't be a medic. I'll tell you to do it manually. No, I shouldn't have done that. Shit, wait. <laughs> Hobbs, wait. No, I need you to... No. Okay, well, next time. Music is silent now. Oh, because it's starting up the best song. Ruka. Ruka. Ruka, what are you doing? No, wait. No, talk to me! Good old school shooting music. Why can't Ruka talk? Is it the wrong guy? No. She's not in the mood to talk right now. Maybe it's because they're full? They look like they're full. That they cannot take any more slaves. Yeah, there is not a single empty cage here. Now, now here's an idea. You're gonna say I'm crazy. Uh... Still haven't found Squabbling Senior's place of death. Wasn't it here? Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. You're right. No, this is. I don't remember. I don't recognize this. So I remember there was a there was a tower. It would have been this. Was it right here? Did he die right here? He might have died right here. I think Squabbling Senior died right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He died right here because the police station's right here. And we had gone over, we'd gotten out of the police, we'd got, come in here, we'd tried to steal from the shinobi thieves, they killed us, and left us to die right here as people walked back and forth over our dead body. So Squabbling Sr., place, his place of rest was right there. So of, co of course Squabbling Jr.'s gotta go take a look. Um, oh, good, it's Sax. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, I think we can't sell any more slaves. So, so what I'm thinking here... It's a holy place now. Does mean we should probably set up base here. Pretty good reason. When you put it like that. Uh, but yeah, it seems like we cannot sell any more slaves because it's full. So I'm thinking maybe... When it becomes nighttime, we sneak in... Free a bunch of slaves, so then we can then sell them more slaves. We are going to scam the slave traders. What do you think about that? Tell me what you think of my plan. That's my that's my pitch. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Because we're getting very close to the amount of money to uh, buy a little buy a little you know place to set up here. In fact, with that copper, who knows? Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to let this guy. Well, no, I'll just keep carrying him around. What's the deal? What's the big deal? You're playing with terrorism right there. Think that's a problem? Think that's a problem for a man like this? And for a, a grieving son, not really grieving, he's just upset with his father. He's just sitting here s staring at the place where his father died. 
and he's now a part of this, he doesn't fucking care about anything. And that's the thing. What? Worst case scenario, they get mad at me? I run to the shinobi thieves and they kill them. Right? Each slave is worth 400. This seems like a bad idea. You sure? I mean... I mean, 400 isn't a ton, obviously, but like... It's unlimited. It's a natural resource. Um, we could also wait. Maybe they'll transport them at some point, and then just whenever this is empty, we'll sell slaves. Could do that. Uh, let's maybe get these guys to sell some copper. Although they're not full, so I guess there's no point not just letting them stay out there. Apparently we can sell it for 178. Someone was saying it was a good price at 80, it sounded like, but... Yeah, I think, I think we're getting a decent price on that. Drop that shit. Alright, well, keep doing that. Don't die. We should have given him food, but whatever. Uh, I think what we're gonna do... Is anyone injured? Yes. Yes. Okay, the answer is yes. So, we're going to go up in the Shinobi Thief place and uh, sleep. And while we're sleeping, they'll be mining, because they don't fucking get sleep. They're basically slaves. They, until you prove yourself... You're basically a slave. Carp has proved himself, but he still might, you know, have to work. <laughs> I didn't mean to... Whatever. I don't even care. 400 bucks. What is... We can capture more slaves. It's a great plan. You can sleep until night. Okay, who's, who's the best by the... We might save and try this to see if it's even a possibility. Somehow, yeah, Hobbs is our best stealth. So, Hobbs. Okay, buddy. Um, let's give... Let's let's transfer this shit to Ruka. Just so you're a little... You're still moderate either way. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you might want this black rag shirt, though. Right? Oh, yeah. Better stealth. Okay. He is a little weighed down. He won't be able to run away very effectively. I'm gonna save... Because this is just the test run. We'll see. I mean, if he gets arrested and it's not like a huge deal, then we'll, we, you know, we don't have to load the save. I don't want to load the save all the time when I just make a minor mistake or something. It's more that I want to reload saves when it's like some bullshit. This isn't really bullshit. This is me sneaking into some place and freeing slaves. I'm pretty expected of what's going to happen, but... Now. See, nobody sees me because they're not people. They're slaves. And I can... I'm gonna go... Hmm. I'm gonna go right here. I'm going to... Somebody sees me. Somebody sees me. Okay. Who sees me? Oh, he's right there. Oh, okay. Well, let's wait a second. Don't mind me. Just, uh, just looking... Just perusing your slaves. I'm looking at buying a slave myself. I'm, uh, I've got quite a big interest in slaves. In fact, I brought in half of these slaves. I was thinking of buying half, some of them back for double the price. What do you think about that? Just leave me alone for a second so I can look them over in peace. Got a... Okay, he's got a heal. Okay. I think this is a decent plan. Free the slaves, then sell them right back. Exactly. And what are they going to do? Say, like, how do you get... You know, like like... They'd be thankful that I got their slaves again for them. They don't even have to be the same slaves. Okay, that guy's a slave. All right? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you healing all these people? Are you going to be doing this all night? He might be... Okay. He might just be guarding up here, which is also a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. So... I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I should get someone who can actually stand up. So this guy. Girl? Guy. This Sheck guy. Maybe he'll put up a good fight too. So, sneak. And... Pick lock. Now I'm gonna look downstairs so that I can see if anyone starts going up here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. 
Did that work? Okay. Get these shackles off me. Okay. Unlock shackles. I just have to... I don't know if they're gonna, like... They shouldn't notice. Lockpicking shackles, so when it's done, I'll be able to see. I'm committing a crime, but nobody sees it. Okay. He just yelled all right. I don't like that. But just sneak over here. Okay. Now I'm not committing a crime. What is he doing? Wait a minute. Is he... Oh, he's looting the dead. Okay. Um, well, see, now I'm gonna go run outside, and I had nothing to do with this. You can't prove a fucking thing. Right? I think it works. I think this was actually a great plan. Look, now he, now he fucking goes and runs for it. And if he makes it, great. And if he doesn't... Oh, oh, oh. I just realized something. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. Wait a minute. Save again, because this part I'm actually not sure about. I could be misunderstanding the mechanics here. But... They're gonna beat the shit out of him. I didn't think about that part. He's not actually gonna get away. There's no, there's no possible chance. But... But... I... Well, I guess I could... Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, so what I'm wondering is if maybe I should... If I can sell him back after they beat the shit out of him? Right? Right? Or will they get mad and that'll count as terrorism? Pick up. Hey, what? Okay, well, they just re-enslaved him. That, that didn't really accomplish much. Okay. Different way, different way we can do this plan. Okay? Now, it's just one way to do it. Wait, wait for him. Second idea. All right. <laughs> this one might work. I'm, I'm more fa plans are formulating. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna free everyone so that they all try and leave at once, and at least one of them should get out. Maybe a couple of them will die. I don't need. I'm not trying to free slaves because I actually fucking care about their well-being. I'm trying to free slaves so I can make money. So, if they die, that's fine, because it's still a free cage. In fact... Ooh. Oh. I've got a... F I've got a fucking dastardly plan. Like a... Like, okay. This guy just needs to leave, and I've got a plan that is just, like... It's too much. Like, it's... Not, it's, it's... It's daytime now. But... Thing is, though, Ruka is actually more suited for this plan. Um, might be wondering what this plan is. You'll see. Um, while we're executing this plan, might as well have some people train. His lockpicking is not maxed out. These guys are already healed, so his lockpicking is also not maxed out. Ruka, I need over here. And Carp can train his fighting. Watch this, all right? It's daytime, sure, but there's a dust storm. We should be able to be somewhat sneaky about this. Just need to wait. And, you know, everything's being productive while we wait. We got arrested? No, 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 we're fine. Staging a second Nat Turner slave rebellion. Just wait. Just wait, you'll see. Somebody's guessed it, I think. Uh, pick up more of this. The fuck? Oh, it's just <laughs> there's a dead body there. Okay, getting close to full, I guess. Just need to wait for this guy to leave. He would be gone if I didn't beat the shit out of this guy. That's a different guy. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Just gotta wait. Are we taking over the city? No, 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 no. We are making money, okay? That is the number one goal here, is we are trying to make money. I'm just trying to make money the only way I know how, which is being a seedy asshole and selling people into slavery. 
Oh, oh, what do you say? We need a word with you? Oh, oh, I don't know what he was doing there. Okay. I don't understand. Looks like it might take a second for him to uh, do all of that, but that's fine. Like I said, we got good training going on. Important stuff, and we're making money. It's good that no one hostile has walked by <laughs> these mining operations. I really didn't even think about that. But, like, if these were, like, bad guys, we could just be dead. We could have both these guys dead and all our money stolen. Hurry up. Also, completely forgot about the existence of crossbows. We could be using those on some of our guys. Might be a really good idea. Especially these guys out here that have, like, no training in anything. What is shoegaze? It's, uh, it's like a genre of rock that was named shoegaze because of the band's tendency to look at their shoes while they play. It's kind of like a dreamy sort of music. It's, it's pretty good. It's good stuff. Um, he seems accuracy error. Okay, well, whatever. Um, okay, there we go. That's what we needed. Now, okay, they're downstairs. We're alone up here. We can sneak, and nobody can see us. And now what we're going to do is we are going to assassinate the people inside of their cages. You feel me? And then when they're fucking dead, they have to throw out the bodies, which means there will be more cages free. Didn't mean to keep doing that. There will be more cages free, and we'll be able to sell more slaves. On the plus side also is that we'll be able to assassinate people. So let me just save to make sure that this isn't, there's some, not some big problem with this. Because in real life, you would think one of the slaves would just yell, I'm being assassinated. There's a man in here, a girl in here, trying to kill us all. Wait, no, I want to kill them. Wait, what? Not knock out. No, kill. Fucking genius. Well, that's what I thought. You s No. What? Well, I can knock him out, but that doesn't help. I want to assassinate him. How do you- maybe you get the alt click or something? Uh... How do you kill people? How, how, do, how do I- how do I kill people? Um... No, I don't really understand how to kill people. <laughs> you should be able to just stab him, right? Maybe, maybe I do this, okay? I pick this lock. Not skilled enough. Okay, well, you're skilled enough to pick one of them. Yeah, pick this lock, okay? Okay, and we'll just look downstairs to make sure that no one comes up here. And we'll, uh... He thinks he's about to be, be freed. He's about to be killed. Okay, I see lockpicking here, so when that goes away... Free after knock after knocking out, then kill. That's another way to do it. That makes sense. Okay, I was thinking open their cage, and then I can open it up. They're still shackled, so they can't do anything. They won't run away, but I can kill them because they're not in their cage. So I think that's what's stopping me from doing it, is the fact that they're in their cage. Oh, I finished the lockpicking. Okay, so now I can... No? No, I'd have to unlock shackles. Oh, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Set free. Is it open? I set you free? Pick lock. Oh, does it just get locked right away? Okay. So we'll try that plan then. Okay. So. Stealth KO. Perfect. Okay. Then. Pick lock. Okay. Okay. There's a way to make this work, I think. Okay. She did it. That was quick. Now. Unlock the shackles. Okay. And the guy's still down, so we should set free. 
the fuck? Uh... What? Stealth KO. I don't think you're supposed to do this. I don't think this is working. I think this is a genius plan, but it doesn't seem like it's working. We can use something, a part of this plan. He's, he's up. They wake up from self KO so fast. I just want to kill him. Hmm. See, now he's just gonna run away because he's free, right? Let's get a move on. No, I'm not... I'm not... F okay, fine! We're starting a fucking slave rebellion! I don't know what else to do! Yeah, we're starting a slave rebellion, okay? Just so I can make some money selling more slaves. I'm going to free every single slave in here, okay? Every single one that I can... I'm going to let out, and they it seems that they will not run away until I go somewhere. So I'm just gonna let them get attacked, and I'll just run away and pretend I didn't do anything. I like this Persona music. Oh, did he change his mind? Oh, that one ran immediately. So, uh... Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna leave. Don't, I'm not really, I'm not doing anything. Okay, that was, that plan doesn't work either. They're too stupid. Some of the slaves decide they just want their freedom more. Maybe one of them will make it out. Nope. Nope, and they didn't even die. Alright, I, I don't really see a way around this problem then. Which is too bad. Free slaves to make more slaves. That was the plan. That was the plan. That's what I was going for. I was hoping to get sort of a self-sustaining, slave-based economy going where I could free and sell slaves. Creating money, in a way. It's the way the Jews do it. You... <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that. You just... you... you buy and sell money. You... 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 you make a, a currency based on slavery. Uh, but it doesn't look like I can do that. I don't really see a good way to do it. I mean, I can keep freeing them over and over and hope they die one of the times, but that's not really a good... It's not a very efficient process. So unless someone's got another idea, I don't really see how we're, uh, I don't think we can accomplish this. But while we were trying, I think we made a ton of money on, on copper. Now we're full of copper. Okay, well. That's good. <laughs> That's actually enough to buy a house right there, so probably anyway. I hope. So I guess that works. And we could buy some slaves. We're feeling like people buy them. Uh, go there. Sell it there. I guess.